Hello friends, it's your buddy Keith and I am here live again in the control room in the one and only world famous Essex Recording Studios just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. Today we've got this killer Fender Artist Series Jimmy Page guitar to share with you guys. This is probably the coolest guitar I've ever seen and best spec guitar I have ever seen to come out of Fendo, Fender's Mexican factory, not Fendo, Fender. Uh, yes, Mexican factory. The spec on this is crazy. The attention to detail is crazy. And um, when I got it, I thought it was an American guitar. Had no clue. Comes with an awesome vintage style Fender hard case. And uh, like the 60s style cases they're doing on the American 60s telly. Actually, this guitar is based on a 59 Telecaster that the original was. Um, before I get crack a lacking and get started on this, I want to say, if you're new to the channel, guys, we're like 300, less than 300 subscribers away from our goal of 10,000 subscribers. So please click that subscribe button. It's free. Costs you nothing. You're good to go. You join the family here on the channel. Also, if you want to buy this guitar, and I mean this exact guitar that we're talking about right now, you can head on over to our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. That is where we have the lowest prices on all of our guitars on YouTube. And also, if you're an American buyer, you don't have to pay that crazy internet sales tax that America charges when you buy on big websites like Reverb or eBay. This is also on Reverb and eBay if you prefer to buy there. So either way, you go there, type in Fender, Jimmy Page, Dragon, Telecaster, you'll see it. So let's chat about the story and the spec on this. All right. So Jimmy Page's original guitar was either a 59 or a 60 Telecaster. Nobody really knows. He got it from Jeff Beck. It had an ash body. It was originally painted blonde uh, on an ash body. It had a slab board rose fretboard as was period correct for mid-59 Telecasters, and it had a top-loading, top-loading bridge, which was also period correct for 5960s. So when you look on the back here, you do have the option to string through, and you can see the, the holes down there. So you can string through, come through the back, but you can also string them through the top, much faster, uh, very quick to do string changes that way. You get two custom Jimmy Page single coil pickups. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Vintage style tuners, vintage style string tree, uh, USA style hang tag as well. I can't believe this is a Mexican model. They do not make an American version of this. I believe there's a custom shop Jimmy Page Telecaster. I'm not sure if it's the... The same spec, but this is this is just incredible. So you can feel good buying this one and not like, oh man, I didn't get the USA one. It's okay, they don't make a USA one. Also, really cool case candy. You get a period, uh, super, super heavy duty, thick telephone cord style uh, guitar lead, guitar cable. And you get a nice white uh, Jimmy Page strap here with like the old seat buckle. Really nice. So let's talk about the finish and why this thing looks the way it does and the story behind it. This is the guitar that Jimmy Page used to record the Stairway to Heaven guitar solo. It's a very, very famous instrument, arguably one of the most famous guitars of all time. It actually, he still has it, but it, it's a crazy story. When he got it from Jeff Beck, he put mirror discs on top of the painted blonde finish. And they think that he was inspired by Pink Floyd's guitarist who had a, a similar um, look on his guitar. He did it very briefly. He didn't like it. He ripped it all off, stripped the paint to the natural ash finish, and then he painted these kind of just swirl and sharp kind of psychedelic dragon looking thing. You know, they call it like, oh, a cracked egg over by the by the bridge. Just this this thing that has, you know, somewhat resembles a psychedelic dragon, but was his own artwork. He took the black pick guard, got rid of it for an acrylic one, a perspex one, a clear one, and then he put a sheet inside of it 
that gives it this kind of psychedelic rainbowy effect when the light hits it and bounces off. All right. Way, way, way cool. On the back of this guitar, what you'll see here is again, the natural aged body. You'll see my, my fingerprints on this. You got the Jimmy Page signed and stamped neck plate. And you've got the Jimmy Page signature on the back here. Now down the neck is an aged nitrocellulose finish, okay? And you have to look at it in the right light, but you can see, it's hard to see um, through the camera here, but it does have a bit of that aging texture um, present. You can kind of see the lines of the nitrocellulose there. But it's really nice, it's extremely subtle, and it looks and feels amazing. One piece maple neck, as you would expect on a 59 to 60 style fender. All right. Now, what happened to this Dragon guitar? Guys, if you want one, this is the only way you're getting one. Because Jimmy Page had it, and his friend, while he was away, I guess on tour, took it and painted over it for him as a present without his permission. So he wasn't really happy about it. Um, and the paint got all on the electrics to where I think he said only the neck pickup works now. And he was just really upset. He took the neck off of it, put it on a different guitar. He still has the body and he says the body, I still have it, but it's never going to be seen again. And, uh, Jimmy, if you're listening, I'll take it off your hands, buddy. So you don't have to look at it, at it anymore. If it causes you too much stress, too much grief, send it to your buddy Keith here just down the road in Essex. All right. But yeah, so that's what happened to Jimmy's. And now all these years later, Fender said, what if we do an artist series and we recreate this legendary guitar and make it affordable so that all of Jimmy Page's fans have you know, the potential to get one. We can't manufacture loads and loads of them, but at least we can put it at a price point that is attainable, beautiful, and uh, give it authentic period correct features like the slab fretboard the stripped ash body with the uh polyurethane coating over the original paint job it's really cool you can kind of almost feel the uh the the graphic underneath it's um it's just a very special very different guitar guys and i love the case that you get with it you get um it's like the, the custom shop g and g style cases it looks very similar it has the raised fender logo um yeah you get some extra case candy there's just so many features on this that you don't ever get on a mexican guitar and if i put a headband on you and made you play it you would never guess in a million years that this is not an american made guitar the fit the finish the quality the attention to detail um yeah i mean like i said i think you can kind of see it here the aging and the nitrocellulose, you can kind of see the the marks there. It's um it's just something really unique that you don't normally get. I've never seen a Mexican strat that has this much spec, and the fact that you get his own specified custom Jimmy Page single coil telly pickups, I think is super, super cool. Everything about it is totally unique and totally unlike any Telecaster ever put out by Fender. So it's a real treat. The inlays look like the period inlays. I mean, everything. I'm impressed, guys. Really, really cool. So with that being said, I think you've got a great idea of what the Jimmy Page Artist Series Dragon Telecaster is like in person. You've seen what this finish looks like. And what the fretboard looks like. And it's just up to you. At the end of the day, you know, you're a little bit more knowledgeable about guitars. And you know something about uh, some Led Zeppelin and Jimmy Page history. The story behind how this guitar came to be. And the many hands, or few famous hands, it passed through. Jeff Beck gave it to uh, Jimmy Page as a gift for recommending him to replace... Eric, Captain, uh, Eric Clapton's slot on the Yardbirds. 
and uh, for hooking him up with some like really good managers and and uh, gigs and everything else. So apparently Jimmy Page turned down that slot because he was already a successful session player, according to Fender's website. Yeah, if you want to know more about it, Fender has like a very long detailed article, but I've given you the meat and potatoes, the gist of it, and uh, you know now you can get your diploma on this guitar. Cool. I got to run, guys. I've got a lot going on this weekend. A lot more guitars to share with you. Thanks for subscribing. We're so close. We're 200 and change away from our 10,000. It's been a great new year so far. We're right into January 2022. And we're very excited to be releasing some new music from the studio. That's what all this fancy gear is here for. So uh, let me run. I'll see you soon. Follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. We're going to be doing Twitch for the new year. A lot of cool stuff there. And of course, follow our website. Go to the uh, for sale section and you can look at all the cool guitars we've got for sale there. Later, everyone.